At this point, you may notice that you're also having a hard time with other simple everyday tasks. And it's not just your risotto that's suffering. And then you realize that all your problems may have something to do with the fact that you haven't had nicotine in over a week. Back when you were in your early 20s, you started smoking to look cool. And it worked. But that slowly developed into a pack-a-day habit that went on for a lot longer than it should have. And then when you turned 30, you decided to finally quit combustible cigarettes and go digital, like everybody else. You would blow clouds wherever you wanted, like you owned the streets. You even developed a vape-sized hole in your pocket that you kept having to sew shut. And that led to a sore on your thigh that never healed, uh, where it poked through your jeans. Finally seeing the amount of trash you generated over the course of a month disgusted you. So a week ago, you froze all your vapes in an attempt to stop yourself from consuming any more nicotine. But the cravings still persisted. And you begin to regret quitting at a time like this because your nicotine withdrawal is clearly turning your cooking into dog shit. And maybe before you can perfect the art of risotto, you're going to need to perfect the art of quitting first. They say that the first couple of weeks are the hardest. And it's a good idea to remove any former triggers to break the cycle. But everywhere you look in New York, there seems to be reminders of your addiction. And even the dry ice you use to break up your stool uh, reminds you of vaping. So if you want to master quitting, put yourself in a new environment that doesn't remind you of vaping at all. You may not have been skiing since you were a little kid, so you rent some gear and uh, hit the bunny slope to try to ski down safely. You remember being okay at it when you were a kid, but it turns out to be a lot more frustrating uh, as an adult, and it's not actually that relaxing. So you take a nice scenic drive to clear your head. But after a while, you might get stuck behind someone who seems to have a problem with their exhaust pipe. And it kind of feels like they know you're trying to quit. 